So scientific method being, you know, when you are doing an experiment, you, you have to form a hypothesis, you have to do organized experiments, and then you have to look at your data and have the ability to analyze it and go back and test your hypothesis. So if this is kind of in your blood, that's a good starting point for any engineer and these students really had that. So the phase one group came up with this sort of a design and as you can see the, the bubble array is slightly different than what we've come up with. When you did step on the scale all of the weight wasn't transferred to the sensor some of it was transferred around the sensor to the ground. Going through some preliminary testing and finite element analyses we decided to go with a rigid bubble design. The sensor will be sitting on top of the rigid bubble here and all the force transmitted through that sensor through the rigid bubble into the ground. This is the mold that we're actually making this weekend where we're going to print a small version of our scale. That was great and uh, they molded it, they built it and uh, they placed the sensor on top of this rigid bubble then they embed the whole thing inside of the bigger polymer so it became the little sensor bed with seven sensors and then they started to do experiments. There's a few in there, but I think this one's good to go. And the results were horrible. They, they just were putting in 50 pounds, we were measuring 25 pounds. Putting 35 pounds, measuring 17 pounds. Some, you know, really inconsistent measurements. We were trying to understand why this was happening. And it turned out that the sensor was bigger than the rigid bubble. <laughs> Should be 85. I bet you so when you step on the sensor, the edges that kind of um, stick out of the rigid bubble were being bent. The bending on the edges was loading the sensor in a way that it was not supposed to. During our discussion, this explanation came out. They, they explained it, but I probed them and they explained it. And then immediately Karim said, oh, then we should just prevent that edge bending. And the solution for that was to put a rigid cap on top of the rigid bubble. I took the original rigid bubble and placed a rigid cap on top so that the force was directed straight through the sensing area. It eliminated most of the stress concentrations around the edge and this ultimately proved to be the most accurate way of capturing the applied force. And that was an aha moment. They made a, another mold and they made the rigid caps, put them on and then you know, the rest is history because it worked really well. It worked really, really well.